Hello, welcome back to Derek Watches. I'm Derek. Today we have the Seiko SRPD55 from Richard in Florida. He ordered this watch for his dad, and his dad is a marine biologist, which is super cool because、uh, this mod also contains a mother of pearl dial. There are three major differences between the SKX and SRPD. The first one is the spring bar size. The SKX is much thicker than the SRPD. The second is the screw down crown. The third is the crystal gasket. As you can see here, the SKX one is 0.407 millimeters, and the SRPD one is 0.559 millimeters. If you mix the two, you will have this happen. Just make sure you got the correct crystal gasket. In this step, I'm using a press to insert the crystal. You have to be very cautious in this step, or you will damage the crystal gasket, which, when it deforms, it's trash. You need to get a new one. Or,、uh, in the worst case scenario, you will shatter the crystal,、uh, which is very bad. So,、uh, my opinion is you need to press a little, turn around, and press even more to get even force. All the way. Now we will do a wet water test without the movement inside. I will prefer the case, case back, crown, and seal the case up. So why do the water pressure test without the movement? As you just saw, the crystal might blow out.、Uh, so we don't want this kind of risk. So we didn't install the movement to do the wet water、uh, testing. The main purpose of this test, in my opinion, is test the crystal gasket and the crown, and maybe the case back because、um, after you install the crystal gasket, it's not that obvious to see if there is a crack in the gasket, but it's more obvious to see the if there is like a defect in the case back gasket. This is the water pressure tester. For this tester, it can test up to 50 meters of water resistance. Now I place the case above water, pump it up to 50 meters of water pressure, leave it there for 10 minutes. If there is a leak in the case, now the air have a chance to seep into the case and balance out the pressure. After 10 minutes, I will drop the watch under water and release the pressure. If we can see a tiny, steady stream of bubble coming out of the case, means the case is not waterproof. In this step, we will install the mother of pearl dial and the hands.
All the Lucius Italia dial come with four dial pins uh, to accommodate three o'clock and four o'clock crown position. In this case, we are using the four o'clock crown position, so I will use a marker to mark uh, which dial pins we want to keep. While installing dial, please be very gentle. I heard lots of people break their dial pins while just squeezing the dials on. In this step, we are installing the handsets. Shameless plug. I designed this 3D printed DIY hand press jig. If you are interested, the link will be in the video description. Now it's time to marry the movement and the case. In this step, we will fit the new crown and stem assembly to the case. I use the OEM one as a reference, so we will know how much we need to trim on the new one. This is the target dimension we need to trim the stem down and normally I will use a pair of scythe cutter to cut it near the dimension we need and use a diamond file to file it down to the correct dimensions. I'm using the OEM one again to confirm the dimensions is correct. Use a little bit of Loctite 242 to glue the stem in place. Here I use a little bit of Mobius 9501 to lubricate the stem so the keyless work will work properly. Give it a final clean before we close the case.
I will also use a little bit of silicone grease on the bezel gasket. This is nothing to do with watertight. Um, this actually is for a more smooth bezel action. This is the Coke version of the Sapphire bezel insert from LCBI. This is the second time I used this Sapphire bezel insert. Still very interesting to me. Well, thank you Richard again for choosing my service. I'm sure your father will love this watch. Uh, this dial and this handset, it looks very elegant. Let me thinking about to build my father a watch someday. If you found this video is entertaining and educational, please like the video and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This will help out the channel a lot. There are more videos like this in my channel. Please take your time to watch them all. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions, comment, concern, or you want to order a watch just like this, please write me an email. It is contact at DerekWatches.com. This has been Derek from Derek Watches. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.